clashes between two groups, accusing each other of rigging the vote. One side supports the ruling party's candidate, the other fighting for their local independent. People in the swelling crowd say there was ballot stuffing at a nearby polling station. Police arrived pretty quickly on scene and dispersed what could have become a potentially deadly situation. But the atmosphere remains tense. My God! My God! My God! My God! Just kilometres away, more protests. Many are worried about rising fuel and food prices as the once booming economy stagnates. But they don't see any point in voting. The election was boycotted by the main opposition party, who claimed the country's institutions have been captured by the government and that the vote is unfair. The boycott almost guaranteed Sheikh Hasina another five years in power. She's been accused of running an authoritarian government, arresting almost 10,000 opposition party workers and some senior leaders in the months before the vote. Muhammad Sajjal Hussain's father was one of those workers. An outspoken critic of PM Hasina, the tea stall owner was picked up by police in late October, three days before a deadly opposition rally. And the next time Muhammad Sajjal saw his father was in hospital. My father was struggling to breathe. He was admitted into the ICU but kept on the floor. He was handcuffed and his legs were also tied. The family believes he was tortured by authorities for being an opposition party organiser. Sheikh Hasina is killing people and now again she is in power. The government insists the election was free and fair. But a low voter turnout, a crackdown on dissent and the absence of any meaningful opposition are testing the country's democracy. Meghna Bali, ABC News, Dhaka.